Hi, I'm Karen Grady from Scandinavian Today. I'm very excited because I'm going to make Lefse, the Norwegian Lefse. And it is very traditional in Norway today, especially around Christmas time. A lot of people eat Lefse and uh, let's start making it. It's delicious. I like it. So here we have ingredients for my Lefse. I have about one pound of potatoes. I have five ounces of flour, four tablespoons of butter. I have about half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and then I have about a quarter cup of heavy cream. So first of all, I'm going to peel the potatoes and slice them and cook them. So I'm now cooking the russet potatoes for about up to about 15 minutes. That should be sufficient. Uh, so I will be back. So here we have the boiled potatoes. And if you have a grinder, I would suggest you use a grinder. I don't have it. So I'm just mashing them and that will also work. Okay. Let's make sure it's well mashed. And then I'm going to add the cream. And I keep mashing. And it's just about ready now. And of course, since the potatoes are so hot, the butter will melt right away. Okay, and now I add the sugar as well as the salt. I mix it up thoroughly. And the potatoes have been mashed and they're now in a bowl. I'll cover it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and leave it there till tomorrow when I'll continue. And of course, uh, it goes back apparently to the Viking Age, although during the Viking Age, uh, they didn't grow potatoes in Norway. So it was more like flatbread what they made at that time. And of course, after uh, potatoes were introduced to Norway, they started making lifts with potatoes. And I'm now ready to add the flour to the potato mixture. It's almost finished. So this is all done and now make make it into small four inch rolls, approximately four inches. Okay. Actually, you want it to be about the size of an orange, that'll be perfect, okay? And then you can flatten it and put it aside and continue. So here I have the board I'm going to roll it on. I sprinkle flour on it. Here's the dough. Here we have the rolling pin. I'm going to put a cover on it. So here is the cover on the rolling pin, and I now roll it out. So I roll it out a little bit, and then I turn it over, because now I have flour on one side, and I have it on the other side as well. And I'm going to roll it out to, you can roll it to 10, 12, or 14 inches wide. It depends on how long, big you want it. Again. Be nice and thin.
then here we have the first one done. Here I have my stick to pick it up. And here I have it on a towel and I fold it over and I cover it up. So the grill has been heated up and here it is. So now I will let it fry for at least a minute or so before I take a look at it and see if it has been done enough on the other side and then I have to turn it of course. And I check to see, it looks like it's fine, I turn it off. And now we give the other side about a minute or so. And it's nice and brown on both sides, so this is all finished. Here I put it on a towel and I fold it over and I cover it up to keep it nice and warm. Okay, I go on to the next one. Here we are. And I'll keep baking. And I'm ready to taste my lips. So I add some butter and then I'm going to sprinkle on some brown sugar. Okay, and I'm rolling it up. And I will taste it now. So this should be so good. So here I take a bite on my lips. Uh, of course, a lot of times people like to eat it with cinnamon and brown sugar, but some people also like to add some fish. So there are all kinds of ways of eating your lips. But Anyway, mm. very good, very good, excellent. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll also make some lips and enjoy it. It's good. Have a great day and hope to see you another day. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our channel because every week we publish traditional as well as modern Scandinavian recipes. And this will help you to celebrate special events as well as memories with family and friends. And we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you another day. Take care. School.